Hey guys, this is Dial Pixel, and we're back with another video. This time around, we will teach you how to use a Raspberry Pi and a speaker to build your own radio and audio player. The Pi player acts as an internet radio player and has TuneIn Radio integrated. You will also be able to stream Spotify Premium, Google Music and SoundCloud. Buying an internet radio system is quite expensive and this Pi player will only cost you around $15 excluding the speaker. Let's dial right in. For this project we will need a Raspberry Pi. You can use any version of the Pi. We will be using the 0W. A micro SD card. This is to store the image file for the Raspberry Pi. An OTG cable. A speaker. You can use any speaker that has a headphone jack input. A USB sound card. As the Pi does not have an audio output, we will use a USB to headphone jack adapter. A 3.5mm male to male cable. We will use this to connect the Pi to the speaker. The software that we will use is called Pi Music Box. To download Pi Music Box, head out to the link provided in the video description. This will take you to a GitHub page from where you can download the latest version. After the download is complete, extract the contents of the zip file. Now insert your SD card in your computer so that we can flash the Pi Music Box image file onto it. Download and install Etcher from the link given in the video description. Fire it up and click on Select Image. Browse to the location where you saved the image file and select it by clicking on Open. Now click on Select Drive and select your SD card from the list. Click on Flash to begin the transfer of the image file. After the flashing is complete, we now need to configure the Pi so that it can automatically connect to our Wi-Fi network on boot up. Now browse to the config folder of the micro SD card. Open the setting.ini file and add your Wi-Fi network name and password. Don't forget to save. You can now eject your SD card and insert it in your Pi. Before powering on the Pi, we need to connect the OTG adapter and the USB sound card. It will not detect the sound card if you connect it later. After the Pi is powered on, we need to wait for a minute. We can now connect to the Pi. On Windows and iOS, fire up your browser and head to musicbox.local. If this does not work, you need to find the IP address of the Pi to be able to connect. This can easily be done by using Angry IP Scanner. Find the hostname musicbox.local and copy the IP address to your browser. For Android devices, you need to connect directly through the IP address. The web interface of Pi Music Box is very easy to use and is full of features. These radio streams are already saved in the Pi Player. Just click on the name to start listening. The Pi Player has an integrated link to TuneIn. TuneIn has one of the biggest collections of radio streams from all over the world. To add any radio station you wish, simply go to search. Select TuneIn from the drop-down menu and type in the name of the radio station. Click on search and a list of results will appear. Click on one to start listening. You can also add the radio station that is playing to your stream list. To do this, go to streams while it is still playing. Click on get currently playing and then save. You can save as many radio stations as you want to. If you want to autoplay a specific radio station when you power on the Pi player, copy the stream URL from streams. Go to settings and then to music box. Paste in the stream URL and click save at the bottom. You can even stream Spotify Premium, SoundCloud and Google Music. To do this, go to settings and enter your username and password. The Pi can be connected to any speaker with a headphone jack input, including big ones like these. The 
Thank you for watching Dial Pixel. Please subscribe for more content like this. If you have any question, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and to share this video if you found it useful. And as always guys, keep dialing pixels.